Okay guys, we're at our new location. So today where we're at, we're at Alum Creek State Park and we're actually at the beach. And um, I stopped down by the spillway and put and made some video to put in the back end of this video. So make sure you watch until the end because there was a lot of people down there and I stopped and asked them what they were all down there. And I guess there's a white snowy owl down there and it's like super rare. So in the video, if you see a lot of people down, that's what they're doing. They're down there with cameras and stuff, taking pictures of it. But I'll kind of show you what we're on a try to work on today. Cause it's, it's definitely frozen. Plus we got snow, but I'll show you guys around. So that's where we're at as you can see <laughs> so it's more or less completely froze over plus we got at least i don't know i say there's at least five inches of snow on the ground so i'm pretty sure that down where the sand's at it's not going to be as much snow i think the snow will be thinner so we'll try to go down right along the, the alum creek right at the edge of the water we'll work our way down through there and um there's a lot of big volleyball courts here and that's what i was focused on because i think we might be able to find some rings so i was just like i said you can see how it is so i hope you guys brought your swimming suits <laughs> you probably should have brought your ice skates but I think we might find something. I mean, it's hard to tell, but like I said, make sure you watch until the end. There's some footage in the back end of this video, and you'll see what I'm talking about, and you'll see why all those people are there. But I think we'll find something. I'll get I'll get on, back to you guys as soon as I get onto a real good signal. Okay, guys. Well, the beach didn't work out, so it's just too cold. <clears throat> I mean, it's about 10 degrees, and it everything's just frozen. Even up here on the ground, I tried to get in the ground. It's just totally frozen. Usually what I do is when I get up, before I leave, I check my yard. So I took the shovel and I stuck it in my yard. So that's why I figured I could get in here. But I mean, it's like it's like trying to dig through concrete. But um, to save this video, because obviously we ain't gonna be able to metal detect and we're kind of a ways from the houses. I'll try to, we'll probably just go exploring. We'll probably go looking around so I can at least post the video. So stay tuned guys. I'll find some places that we can check out. Okay guys, since we can't metal detect, let's go over here and check out this owl. I'll try to walk up close. I don't I seriously doubt if we'll be able to see it with this GoPro. And we want to be quiet. Should have brought some snowshoes. Okay guys, since we're down here at the lower end of the dam, I was going to show you guys how this is. So basically the water's coming out of the side. They're not letting the shoots out because it's the Allen Creek's completely frozen. There was a fisherman down here. He said he wasn't catching anything. I was up by the beach and there was a couple guys there and they were walking like a mile out on the ice to ice fish. And they said they had pretty good luck there yesterday. But this, like I said, this has only been here since about 1974. So there really ain't, there's a lot of history with the area, but there's not a lot of history with this dam. So I think there's like a historical plaque over here. So I'll stop and show you guys that and see what it says. 
Okay, guys, there's a brief history of the area. This is only a historical plaque I've seen back in here. But like I said, a lot of times when they um, build these dams, they, there might have been some towns in there where the lake's at. And there's like a history, like I think back in the 80s or something, um, after they filled the dam up, the, the lake up, there was actually graves popping up. Then they had to go in, so basically they actually flooded it, and here they didn't get all the graves out, and the graves were actually popping up in the lake itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is probably going to be it. It'll probably be a short video. Sorry I couldn't get in the ground. But hopefully next weekend. Because see we have another um, severe storm coming like Monday or Tuesday. And we're supposed to get like 8 inches of snow. So hopefully I can get out next weekend. Because it was supposed to be like in the 40s. But I'm not for sure. So if you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. Evening as the sun went down, the jungle fires were burning. Down the track came a hobo hummer. He said, Boys, I'm not returning. Headed for a land that's far away, beside the crystal fountain. I see you all this coming fall at the big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain. There's a land that's fair and bright Where the handouts grow on bushes And you sleep out every night Where the boxcars all are empty And the sun shines every day Oh, the birds, the bees, and the cigarette trees The whiskey springs, and the bluebird sings In the big rock candy mountain Big Rock Candy Mountain All the cops have wooden legs And the bulldogs all have rubber teeth And the hens lay soft boiled eggs And the farmer's trees are full of fruit And the barns are full of hay I'm bound to go 